Hey everybody, welcome back to the War Room. I am in the middle of my Africa game. I'm getting ready for my next video to put that out there for you. Um, however, I wanted to do something a little different. War game supplies. Things you might need for a war game. There are tons of war games out there. There's many types, many different genres, from pike and shot to ancient to World War II. All right, and it doesn't matter how you play these games, the boards, the, the board games themselves will never give you enough of what you need, all right? So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I use whenever I play a war game each and every time, all right? The first thing is, these. so these are the dice I'm using for the actual game itself. Obviously you need dice to play the game, all right? I, spick, I pick particular colors that I'm gonna use, German and the British, all right? I also have a dice cup or you know, get a tower or whatever that you need to throw the dice in and collect the dice, okay? Because especially in a war game like this where you have stacks of tokens, you don't want dice to fly around and hit those. It is detrimental. It is a sad, sad thing, especially in these bigger games like OCS games. So get yourself a dice tray and uh, you get these cheap. This is a little cheaper, little, the little leather ones. You can get those anywhere online. I got that from Amazon. All right, next, dice. Not dice, just to shoot the dice and, and see what happens. I have many types of dice. These are black with the orange pips. I've got the reds. I've got the uh, blacks and grays. I got the black ones with the German emblem on there. I've got the, um, let's see, this is a round, round old dice. I got the red ones with the Soviets on there. Um, I've even got a couple of D10s in here. I got little tiny dice. The little ones that you get from uh, you know, the MMP games or M um, those are great uh, for tracking steps or tracking movements or things like that. For example, you know, you got a guy that has like 18 movements and maybe you're doing something in between, whatever. Uh, you can track movement and that's what I use extra dice for. Um, not necessarily to play the game, but to track other things, okay? There are ways to track step losses and what have you inside the game, but sometimes you wanna track movements. Maybe you wanna track, um, I don't know, here for example, for example, um, maybe I'm, I'm traveling this road up here and that's let's say, 12 steps, 12, 12 movement points. I might do something like this. All right, now I can track. Okay, that's 12. Now if I got another unit in the stack that has 18, I can just go from 12 and go up, I know where to go further. It just, it just makes tracking your movement a lot easier than counting each and every single step over and over and over again, right? Um, while my other opponent's playing, if I'm playing with somebody, um, I'm usually figuring this stuff out long before it's my turn, and that way I can track and, and, and keep things going as I go. So just one way that I use um, those games. All right, next, after the dice, let me put the dice away. Okay, cubes. All right, I have two color cubes. I've got green and I've got red. I have yellow coming as well. Uh, that's so I can track enemy positions, or like for example, the Germans are gonna be red, so I might wanna track positions and here's the British, you know, something like that. Or um, the yellow might be towns, you know, like lower level towns I don't care about. I, I wanna track them for some reason. Um, when it's my turn to move, I want to, I, I plot these things out so I can see what's going on and make a proper decision before I move. And then, of course, you've seen these before. I've had these in a couple of my videos. These are grout um, tile spacers for grout. You put these in between the, the spacers of tiles so that the grout man can come in here and put the grout in between the tile. But these are perfect. I don't know if you can see that okay. Uh, yeah. These are perfect to show which guys have moved already. Excuse me. I might put this next to a stack like so. I know he's moved. And it was a little tough to see, but I can see it just fine in my light. So something you can see, all right. Also, I have several different sizes of um, these little tongs, okay? Um, I use them to pick up my tokens. I play a lot of OCS, CS, SCS games, these are very small tokens, okay? You can't use your fingers. I got sausage fingers, these will be all over the place and you don't want that, all right? And what I do to them is, I don't know if you can see this, let me show you. It's very fine, but if you look at the edges, 
they're bent in a little bit. I have a little bench anvil. I put my, you know, my the teeth on the anvil and then I take a hammer and I hammer them in a little bit. So that allows me to get under the token or the pieces and I can pick it from the bottom, the whole stack. Okay, just makes it a lot easier. Whoops, see, this is why you gotta have these. All right, because if you don't, they will be all over the damn place. Okay. All right. Next, I'll fix that later. I got longer ones here, obviously to reach. You know, if I had to reach across the table and pick up some stuff, I don't have to go going around the other side of the war table to do that. And then, of course, I have pens. I'll have pencils. I don't have pencils here right now. And I have two log books. One to log the game, what's going on in the game. Another one to log certain rules. Sometimes I forget. Um, this is for stacking max. That's how many points can be stacked. And these show what the, the divisions count for. So any divisions, the ones with the two X's, they count as two towards the stack limit. Okay? Uh, same thing here. Okay, regiments, brigades. Okay? So uh, battalions are the, the two. You got the level three, those are regiments. All right, that's half. So it just gives, you know, I write these little rules down because you forget. You know, everybody forgets. Nobody remembers everything. You get older, you forget about it. That's 1776 over there. I'm learning that as I go. And uh, that's it. I just wanted to share a little bit what goes on in the war table. Also, I have um, on top of my uh, fridge, you can't see those little white boxes. Those are white board erase, like a dry erase markers. I have dry erase um, uh, markers up there as well as dry erase boards. Dry erase boards are awesome for war games, okay? You just want to write something down really quick or do a quick little, um, you know, a quick little uh, formula for an attack. That's how you do it. Guys, have a good one.